It is very difficult to be unapologetically yourself in a world where every single force, every single system that you interact with is trying to get you to be just like them, trying to get you to be someone you're not, trying to get you to fit in. So actually, being yourself is an act of rebellion. It's an act of rebellion to tap into your femininity, your masculinity, your inner child, and to lead from that space, from that innocent space. It is an act of rebellion to do inner work on yourself, to heal yourself, to heal yourself from things that you didn't even know you needed to heal from. Because truly healing is just going back to who we really are on a soul level. And sometimes when we're born, we carry in stuff from other existences here into this life and we're not even aware of it. We don't even know that we are carrying in stuff from past lives, previous existences. And it's not a question of belief. You know, it's not a matter of whether or not you believe in past lives. This is, this is what it is. <laughs> so it's important to revert, to revert, to go back to who we really are on a soul level. And this... Um, understanding of the self understanding of the soul it is a uh, very um, honorable mission it's like literally the point of human life and no other species can do this and it's actually just like the whole reason we're here you know is to self-understand to understand the soul to understand the soul you know and so that that is It's a very daunting journey because we have to unlearn everything, but so deeply though, you know, on a subconscious level. uh, And that takes a lot of um, wanting to see, you know, wanting to see the truth, wanting to see, okay, like what, what is allowing for me to act this way? What has constructed my personality in such a way? Why is my identity the way it is? What has influenced me? You know, what has conditioned me? Why do I think this way? Why am I judging myself and others, right? Why, why do I have hate within my heart for myself? A lot of people, they walk around holding um, blockages and it results in other blockages in their life. They don't even realize how they having energetic blockages uh, invite more blockages in different areas, health, finances, career, relationship, etc. And everything is energy. Everything is energy. And this is something that like you hear all the time, like, okay, everything is energy, blah, blah, blah. Um, what does it mean? It means that when you can work with energy, you can work with anything, right? It means being able to work with things at the quantum level so that you can affect how they manifest in the third dimension. And when you, um, it's actually all about focus, right? Um, when you understand that quantum work is the first step, inner work, basically, vibrational work, basically. Quantum is, is non different from vibration. And um, it has to do with the feeling of things. It has to do with the frequency of things. So um, the highest frequency is unconditional love, right? So when you want to work with energy or when you begin working with energy you'll soon realize that you have the ability only when you can resolve blockages within yourself right only when you can heal blockages within yourself then you'll understand that okay energetic work is just about healing work it's all about um, healing the self healing others healing the planet healing my environment the environment that i'm situated within right because when we raise our own frequency Uh, everywhere we go we carry an aura that is um, healing that is magnetic and this can be very disturbing for somebody who may not understand yet what's going on energetically right all of a sudden all these things and people are attracted to you and it can be very um, daunting overwhelming upsetting because you have to understand that like a, a vibrationally high frequency attracts all types of things um in particular very negative um polar opposite energies as well because they're attracted to the light right they're attracted to when i say light i'm not saying it literally (laughs) i'm not saying it as being actual light um I'm, i'm saying it in terms of frequency and the work that has been done to raise the frequency but if you want to examine lightness and darkness from um a non-dualistic point of view you'll understand that they are just the same um they're just polarity 
and all polarity like results in um all polarity results in it's like the yin yang right like all polarity results in non-dualism and then the du- the non-dualism um becomes one so that duality actually becomes one if that makes sense so it's just um really really crucial to just understand that everything that we see in the physical world is just a, a end result you know what i mean of like what's been going on inside and um when we understand that energy work is the first first step it's the first type of work right then we do we do we do the energy work we we do heal you know and so um when we take on this feat or this adventure of healing the self then everything starts to open up to us we understand that okay we've been conditioned in a certain way i was born into a system that gave me a name and a number you know what i mean like i uh, I am not free um, systemically. I'm free originally, <laughs> you know? And so it's, I got to stay in that original freedom. I got to stay who I am, you know? And so that's why I really, really want you guys to really try to unplug as much as you can from like anything and, and everybody, really, um, because it'll set you free to understand yourself more and more. And then as you begin to create, whether you create videos or, or voice audios or photos or even, you, you know, creation just within the mind, because I didn't touch on this before, but um, it's all about focus, right? I said that when it comes to quantum work or energy work or energy healing, right? And so what I mean by this is that you can literally um, like collapse time within your focus um that's kind of the point we create um everything in the 3d that we experience in our reality right because every person has a different reality right so we are constantly creating our own individual reality so it's through our focus it's through our focus and um like frequency is demonstrated um through the power focus like we can only raise our frequency through through focusing on on love you know through embodying love through really becoming love you know um when it comes to raising the individual frequency guys this will set you free this will heal trauma drama (laughs) uh pain blockages inner struggle people walk around with things in their energy field and they're obvious to somebody that uh has done work to heal themselves or or can see that or you know whatever sometimes it's obvious right and um so nobody can do the work for you like nobody can um heal you for you nobody can heal your heart for you nobody can make you feel joy (laughs) except you right and so it's that's your freedom that's your autonomy that's what we should all be striving to do and in the beginning of this audio, I said that I want you guys to always be free to be yourselves, right? So first you have to find yourself to be yourself. You can't just like, um, you know, say that you know yourself, but you don't, right? Then it's just like self-delusion, which is also fine. There's nothing wrong with that for a while as long as you recognize it, right? If you're, re- if you're really on the search for truth, which hopefully anybody listening to this is, right? Um so 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 we can really only be ourselves fully when we unindoctrinate ourselves i like said that word three times and i had to cut out the audio because i messed it up three times oh my gosh okay um we can really only fully be ourselves when we unindoctrinate ourselves from everything that we thought to be true about ourselves and it's all um you know unconditioning it's just really like unconditioning ourselves you know um because when we understand that like we do not have to put pressure on ourselves to perform in a certain way and this is like everybody's like struggle and weight because we all feel a need a pressure to perform in society right we want to be like um looked at well we want to be accepted we want to be revered we want to be respected by others right so we move through the world and we see what other people have even materially and we want to um advance you know we want to and that's like very very good um 
but the cheat code to wealth is authenticity (laughs) you know what I mean um and um what I mean by this is like you can work very hard you can strive you can um flex even and you can get far right um but the ability to be fertile in your inner creations and in your manifestation ability will not fully be present if you are not um, r- vibrating at a frequency of love, self-love, and allowing for yourself to be yourself truly. And I know nobody wants to hear this because because people just want like to look good, right? But if you don't feel good, though, like if you're not happy, you know, um, then there's really no point. Like life is so important. We diminish its importance when we place material objects as the fulcrum of our endeavors or our desires we diminish the importance of life itself when we do this you see so it's very important to not trick yourself (laughs) to not get fooled you know what i mean to not fool yourself into okay what is it that i want Ooh, (laughs) oh right what do i what, what do i want right and then you start listing like everything that is material i want a nice house i want a nice mouse i want a nice spouse (laughs) but like um what do people really want they want happiness they want freedom they just don't know that they want that you know but (laughs) that's rooted in spirituality that's rooted in in understanding the self that's rooted in understanding the spirit right within (laughs) like you got it you got it you got it within you you already have it there's no um dissonance there is no effort that needs to be placed there is no pressure you've just been lied to that um you have to perform under a certain amount of pressure and so this keeps people miserable and it is um purposeful let me tell you it it, it's truly purposeful because when you can keep people miserable you will um you will uh stifle their creative uh, power you will also stifle their ability to understand their own creative power. Imagine you're a lion in a jungle and you don't know you're a lion, which we all are, right? So then you wa- so then you get confused. Am I a lion? Am I a rabbit? <laughs> you start running around. You don't know whether you're the prey or the predator. Like, And so we are like this, like truly. And it's just like unfortunate um, that... But it can be fixed, though. That's why I'm here to tell you that it can be fixed because it's within your own understanding of the self um, that from that all of these things can flourish from. You know, um, great ideas, creative capability, businesses, okay, legacy, okay, the ability, the power to transform your own life and other people's lives as well. The ability to teach, okay, like people don't understand that they have this within them, okay, and. Um, And so truly, when you can tap into your own authenticity, your own soul, you will see genius there. You will see the genius that lies there and you will tap into it and you will change the world around you. Uh, And then the world eventually, if you can, right? Which you can, (laughs) by the way. Like we can all be powerhouses. We can all be forces of of nature because we are each human being. There's nobody that is you. Do you understand that? like it's crazy really it's crazy that's why i i really like do not subscribe or under, i don't subscribe to or understand gossip or uh judging somebody for living in a certain way or anything it's just such a, a low way of life like that's how you choose to live you know it's kind of like um it's like you'd rather drink like poison water instead of like pure water right it's just it's easy it's really just that simple you know whatever you feed your mind feed uh your uh your thoughts whatever you say whatever you feed the atmosphere around you you are ingesting this you see so it's it's just important to like keep it very cute very cute uh to the point where you are innocent in your uh, vibrational frequency you're innocent in your um way of seeing the world you know and Ooh, sorry, that was kind of loud. Um, and you blend uh, innocence with um, with the rest of the world around you and you infuse it with this light. Um, again, when I say light, I don't mean light versus dark, please. I mean um, originality, basically. I should have said that instead, right? Um, so that was today's yap. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, 
stay close to nature like stay close to water stay close to music okay stay close to wind um stay close to the truth because the truth will not only set you free right but it'll keep you free and you will be able to set others free when you are kept free okay so i love you guys so much um you guys are all leaders um you guys are all beautiful um creators okay and never let any circumstance or person um convince you otherwise remember that all the power that you need lies within your own understanding of things okay your own perspective of things your own ability to uh digest uh material okay because then then when you <laughs> when you really want to understand there's always got to be one loud noise <laughs> in one of my podcasts then when you um when you actually like cultivate the ability to understand nothing can stop you nothing can stop you you know what i mean knowledge is not just power or freedom uh it is like <laughs> again the point of existence right that self knowledge self understanding so thank you guys for listening i love you guys very much if you liked it be sure to give this a thumbs up be sure to comment below anything you like i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace